Hey guys, it's Miles Hanley with DNR Sports Center. Today, it's cold out. We're inside in this great boat showroom. We're gonna show you some boats. It's boat show season. Unfortunately, we cannot go to boat shows indoors, but every day here at DNR is a boat show. So stop in, check us out, get online, look at some of the great product we have. We've got some inventory for you this year. Uh, I'm gonna go through this boat today with you. This is the Nitro Z19 bass boat. It's a 19 foot bass boat with a 200 horse Mercury Pro XS four stroke V8 engine on the back. This is a great boat, guys. If you're a weekend warrior, just a fun fisherman, or a heavy duty tournament angler, this boat is a great place to start. We sell a lot of them, really popular here in the Great Lakes region. Let's take a look at some of the features and options of this boat. Okay, folks, this is the Z19 Pro Package. So if you're not familiar with the Pro Package, it's a factory package that is all set up with fish finders, upgraded trolling motor, and a lot of other features. It's a great way to set up a boat from the factory. It saves you over $3,300 on this particular package. Some of the great features on the Pro Package. Comes standard with Helix 8 Mega Down Imaging on the bow, full GPS down imaging, Minn Kota Ultrex 80 pound 24 volt trolling motor. This also is equipped with the new Mega Down Imaging transducer built in with a link system. So this boat is all linked, trolling motor, two fish finders via the Lake Master chip. This boat is also equipped with a recessed trolling motor foot pedal. Helps keep your balance better and less fatigue on your back and hip throughout the day with this. We have a nice cup holder and a tool holder here. Nice bow switch here to trim your big motor in the back from the bow and also can operate your navigation lights from here. Let's move on back. Okay, I'm up in the boat now. Let's talk about the front deck, the fishing platform in this boat. Nitros guys have a lot of square footage on the bow. I really like that. There's a lot of room for you and your son, your partner, whoever you're fishing with. A lot of room to lay rods on, strap things down. Still can put two guys on the front of this boat. My partner and I fish from the front pretty consistently out of, out of this size of boat, okay? Uh, one thing that we have to offer on this is a padded front deck. It's called an anti-fatigue mat. It's a really nice system in the bow of this boat. Helps uh, with fatigue throughout the day. Let's go over to the rod locker in this boat. One thing that I like with the nitros is when you open your rod locker, you don't have to reach up, pull the handle to open the rod locker. They have a nice handy little hand grab handle right there to open the rod locker. We've got a 10 rod holder tube system in this boat with a tiered back deck. You can also use like stick jackets or rod sleeves and slide another 10 or 15 rods under the tubes in this. Lots of storage for rod, guys. Of course, gas shocks on the tackle storage and nice tackle management system in this boat. You can move this around. You can stack your Plano boxes in the sides. You can move these in and out just to, if you Want to use a tackle box or different tackle storage that way too. This boat is also equipped with a vent fan system. It's really nice. It's got a switch back at the console here. I'll show you that later. It has a vent fan drying system in it. So when you turn the vent fan on, it circulates air throughout these front compartments. So if you get caught in the rain, when you get home, you can flip your fan on and keep everything nice and dry throughout the day. Let's go over to the starboard side rod locker. Flip it up, lots of storage in this, guys. It's wide open, you can store extra rods, you can store gear, tackle, life jackets, all that kind of stuff in here if you'd like. This is also where your fire extinguisher is, your paddle, and the hold downs for your pedestals for your seats. Tool caddies for your pliers, needle nose pliers. Check this out, guys. Nice trash receptacles, really handy. Throw your fishing line, your old plastics in here. You get home at night, just dump it out, drop it right back in. Really nice big deep cooler, triple insulated to hold two bags of ice. It's gonna hold your ice for a long time. Nice little sandwich tray for snacks, things like that. Keeps that dry. Okay, also guys, I'd like to talk about the drain system on this front deck with Nitro. As you can see, they have this little trough system like a gutter system in this boat. So if you get caught in a heavy rainstorm, maybe take a wave over the bow, something like that, really flood the deck. These compartments stay really dry. The water just troughs back through here and runs down into the bilge system. Let's talk about this area here. So this is the area where we could use an optional passenger console. All the nitros have the option for a removable passenger console. It's a great idea if you have a wife coming along, kids, things like that, or you just like the dual console capability of these boats. They 
take in and out very easily. Within a couple minutes, you can have it sitting on the garage floor, pop it back in if you need it for that day. Also, passenger rod system here. So your rod butts lay in here and your rod tips will all line up behind the seat going through here. So you can carry your passenger rods handy and keep them out of the way. Hey guys, I'm at the helm station of the Z19. Man, this boat is fun to drive. It's a fast boat. It's like driving a Corvette on water. Let me show you a few of the nice things about it. Here we've got the Helix 8 Mega Side Imaging Graph flush mounted in the dash. This graph is in a link system, so it's all networked between the trolling motor and the bow fish finder, like I mentioned before. Uh, you can share waypoints with this front and back. Also run your link system through the trolling motor via the Lake Master chip here. We've got standard gauges in this. They're multi-gauges. We have a tachometer, a speedometer. This is your trim gauge, your fuel gauge, water pressure, and your volt gauge. All nitros come standard with tilt steering wheel. For bigger guys. Now I'm about six foot one. You can see I've got plenty of room here. My knees aren't touching the console. It's a very comfortable ride. This is your master power switch. On this side we've got all your controls for your live wells, uh, your fill pumps, your bilge pump, your navigation lights, all right here as well as your horn. This boat is equipped with a trim lever. This is your engine trim up and down along with a hot foot on a slide plate. What that does for us gives us two hands on the wheel. As we're trimmed out, running 60, 70 miles an hour, we can trim the engine with just a touch of the fingers. Now, if we were to add a hydraulic jack plate to this boat, we would have a dual trim lever. So you can run your jack plate on the right, your trim on the left. Over on this side down here, we've got the vent fan switch that we talked about for the front deck. We've also got the live well control valves. Nice little area over here on the right to set your cell phone with a 12 volt charging plug. Okay, all the Z19s are equipped with a center storage compartment, in, which is really handy, guys. It makes a nice step from front to back deck. If you're running to the front with a net, anything like that, it gives you a nice traction on that up and down very easily. Also, in the storage compartment, there's a nice tray in here. You can put your cell phone, different things in here. I keep my sun gloves, maybe my balance beam, things like that in here. This also pops out so you can clean it easily, and it does give you nice access to the fuel tank sending unit and fill and stuff if you ever need it. Also here is the net holder, super handy guys. The handle pops in the Velcro, so if you're running down the highway, down the lake, you can Velcro it in like that, and then the net slides right behind the seat for you. And it, it adapts to most nets. Um, I've got a lot of different nets you can pop in, and it fits pretty much everything. Now, here's the, the live well system in the Nitro. It's a great live well system. It's called their Guardian system. They've had it for years. Kevin Van Dam, a lot of the pros helped design this live well, and it's really, really a good live well system. It's got anti-slosh baffles in it, so if you're in rough water, it really doesn't get the, uh, the water rocking in the live well too much. It keeps it steady. Uh, it's a blue color, so it's calming to the fish, and all the corners in this live well are all rounded. There's no square corners where a fish can tuck in or anything like that. It just rounds them out. So it's easier to get your fish out of there when you need to, to release them, or put them in a weigh-in bag. The system has full aeration with a Venturi air system in it. It also has a pump out feature to pump the water out of the live well, whether you're just emptying it or filling a live well bag in the back. Also has a timer system. So it, you can run it manually 100% of the time or put it on timer for intermittent aeration. Really nice feature right here is your bump board. Way of fish, you can do it all right here where the fish flops. It's not on the front deck or the back deck. You don't have to worry about the fish flopping in the water. And it stores very nicely right out of the way there. Let's move on to the back deck. All right, let's talk about the seats in this boat. This boat comes standard with a rear fishing seat, folding fishing seat, and a front bike seat. Now, one thing that Nitro does with their pedestals is it makes it real easy. It's a three-quarter pin pedestal. You can remove this real easy. And one thing about their pedestals, they're screw locked. They're threaded and they're very tight. You can see that it's very stout. You're not getting a bunch of movement in there. Down the road, five, 10 years from now, you want that because you don't want this base starting to get uh, a lot of play in it where it gets a lot of movement and you got to replace that. So you can see that's nice and tight. And then it just unscrews. And you can store it away in the starboard rod locker up front. Okay, I'm on the rear deck for the rear storage compartment. This boat, has a rear hinge on this lid, which makes it very handy. In the past, and a lot of companies still do, have a hinge here. So when you're in the garage or if you're picking up your partner and he needs to get into this compartment, it's very easy. You don't have to reach up, pull the lid towards you. You can't get in it. This one comes right back. Everything's accessible. You can load the boat or unload the boat very easily. 
removable tub, so you can take the whole tub out, take it in the garage, in the house, if you're doing any rigging, anything like that. This boat is a pro package, also comes with a T and H culling system in it. This is the rod strap for your passenger rods. When you're going down the highway, your rods will come up here and you can strap them down. Let's take a look inside the rear battery compartment. Lots of room in here, guys. Nice little handy storage compartment here. You can store different things back here out of the way that you need. Take it in and out real easy. Lots of room in this, as you can see. We've got this boat set up for a 36 volt trolling motor system with a four bank charger. Comes standard with a 24 volt system in this boat. Got nice access to this, to all your pumps down here, your bilge pumps and your live well control valves are easy access in this boat. As you can see, this boat is all gel coated on the inside. There's no rough fiberglass anywhere in here, so you don't have to worry about reaching under here and pulling out uh, a bloody finger or something like that from some raw fiberglass. Another great feature in this boat, which is standard, is the emergency jump start switch. Guys, we all know we've carried jumper cables in our boats for many years. If you ever run your crank battery down, you have to jump from one of the deep cycles over to get your engine started. With this system, all you do is flip the lever to jump. It does it automatically. You start your engine, flip it back to the on position, and away you go. Also convenient, when you get home, you can shut that off. It kills all the power to the boat. On the back end of the boat, this is where your charging plug is. So when you get home, you can flip it up, plug your extension cord in here real nice and quick. You don't have to climb in the boat and dig around for the plug. All the nitros are standard with a safety ladder feature on the back, folds down. If you ever need to get back in and out or you wanna do some swimming or things like that. This boat comes standard with a slide master jack plate. We also have the option to do hydraulic, whether it's a Bob's or an Atlas jack plate on here. Comes standard with a motor toter. It's part of the standard package. And we also have retractable transom tie downs, which are very handy. This boat on the Z19, we run the 200 Pro XS V8 four stroke. And like I said, guys, this thing is really impressive. It's just full of torque. It's really fun to drive. It really puts this boat on plane, gives it lots of power, along with the Nitro rapid planing system. It's called RPS, it's exclusive to Nitro. And we'll show you a picture of that, but it really helps this boat get on plane in shallow water. Gives you a peace of mind when you have to blast off out of four foot of water. On these boats, along with the pump out feature for the live well, this is the through haul fitting. So this is where, when you hit the pump out and activate the pump out for the live well, this is where it would come out. So it's gonna spray out the back, which makes it nice and handy. If you're filling a live well bag or a tournament bag, you can stand right here and fill your live well bag. Okay guys, let's talk about the trailer on this package. You know, the trailers are really important. Uh, this is an expensive boat. You're gonna have this boat for a long time. You're gonna be trailering this thing down the roads. And we all know that our roads are not that great. There's lots of potholes, there's salt, there's different things that you're traveling with. This boat is all built by Nitro. It's custom built for this boat. It's not a third party trailer, which is very important. So it's custom fit to this boat. All these trailers, are called Galva Shield. They're built with Galva Shield. So what it is, is the tubing, all the steel tubing on this trailer is all galvanized inside and outside of the tubing. And then they powder coat this finish on the outside. It's like a bed liner finish. It's very durable, very strong finish, really the best in the industry. This Pro Package boat comes standard with a tandem axle trailer, radial tires, and it's got the Vortex hubs on this boat. So these hubs are six year, 100,000 mile, no maintenance. You don't grease them, you don't check them. Everything is good to go. They've been a really phenomenal hub system. Let's talk about the front end of this trailer. This boat is equipped with a nice step ladder. It's not installed right now. We just got this boat in, but it stands up. It's really nice to get in and out of this boat, guys. Whether you're ramping in, ramping out, or just in the garage getting in and out of the boat, you don't have to climb over the side. They're all standard with a swing away tongue. They're all standard with surge brakes. These boats are all set up with a seven way trailer connector straight from the factory. So it plugs in very easy to most vehicles. It also has a nice little clip when you're not on the truck to hold it. The pricing on a Z19 base boat is $40,795 and in the pro package is $44,995 base. Check us out online at dnrsports.com. Give us a call or stop in and see us. We're open every day. Thanks, I hope you guys enjoyed the walk around on the Z19 Pro Package.